Hello and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. In fact, hello and welcome back to the last daily episode of Life in the Woods Renaissance. Oh, it's kind of still weird to think about that, but but yeah, I really feel like I need to do something else every day now. Um, not Not just keep exploring here even though it's still kind of fun it's just I, I don't know it just feels like it's time to slow down a bit um, if you haven't been watching the last few episodes or you know whatever if you don't remember if you didn't pay attention if you just skim through uh, it's not gonna stop entirely I think I'm still going to maybe make like two maybe three episodes a week We'll see how it goes. It might go up to three to f like three and a half episodes per week, um, depending on how everything else shakes out. I can't really, I can't really tell right now what's gonna happen because uh, I don't know what's gonna happen map-wise. There are a few maps I'm waiting for, which might uh, come out soon or not so soon, and then depending on you know when that happens. Yeah, <laughs> I'll 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 have more information then, and then I can make decisions. Um, but right now, uh, the plan is to replace the the early slot, well, early 8 p.m. for my time, which is the 2 p.m. Eastern time slot, which is the current um, life and slot. Uh, this is the new, this is the daily stuff slot where there should be a video every day, and if I <laughs> unless I fail. Um, Let's actually do that, unless I fail, and uh, I'm going to have puzzle maps and potentially other maps, but yeah, some Minecraft stuff at that in that time slot, and then I'll have um, Terra Restore 2, which I started, the, the series started yesterday, I have a few ep episodes pre-recorded um, with Kaleo, that should be every other day, uh, that's in the 10pm slot, so two hours after the Life in the Woods time slot, or the old Life in the Woods time slot. And then I only have that every other day because it's a uh, recording with Kaleo and I can't really do that daily. Like it would just be too much to try to schedule that in. Um, and so I have a time slot open every other day, basically, is what I'm saying, like a 10 to 10 p.m. 10 p.m. my time, Central European time uh, slot is open every other day because of that. And I'm not sure if I'll we'll have enough other stuff. Um, I might be... <laughs> I might be having issues getting getting enough stuff for the 8 p.m. slots, so I might have that just wide open, and I could just I could just have life in the woods there for now. But I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> this is you know this has been a big series, like one of the my biggest ones yet, um, and I'm not really sure <laughs> what I want to do with it. I don't want to just stop. But then again, I, I can't. I can't. I definitely can't keep it going daily uh, right now. Uh, I think it's just. I don't know. It, it's a bit repetitive. Even though I enjoy the exploring, I'm still struggling with. Like talking while exploring, kind of. I don't know if it really shows, but I always feel like I could be doing better. I don't know. Maybe I'm too hard on myself, and yeah. But still. So yeah, that's that's what's up. So this is the last daily episode. I I I did talk about that in the last episode so I think this is going to be a longer episode depending yeah depending on how things go as the other thing with you know exploring if I don't find anything at all then maybe I'll just cut around a bit I I don't know I really don't know how to handle this I originally my plan was to go back home but we are so so far away from home at this point that I don't think it would be smart for me to do that especially considering I don't really have anything to do there um I mean, Barandia is there, so that would be a reason to go home. But yeah, I don't know. But yeah, for now, for today, I'll just I'll just do what we've always done for the last few episodes, and that is explore. And I didn't even have to go very far if you like paid attention right here. This is where we left off at the end of last episode. This is the Savannah Plateau. This is the weird Cypress. No, it's not that weird. I just don't know. Like it's a Cypress hut thing, which I didn't really know. <laughs> um, I don't know. I was just a little building, I guess there wasn't much to it. Uh, and here we have some sandstone pillars and some eucalyptus leaves. I don't think we've seen this one. No, no, the other one that we saw that was kind of like this had um, 
uh, had a well that was a water thing in the middle and it had four pillars and this definitely like the the smooth sandstone, smooth and flat sandstone definitely belongs to the structure still so I think we might have to dig in uh, in order to find something here oh yes there's a chest what do we get from the sand sandy st ruin thing pillar chest um, get a eucalyptus sapling which we already have right some rosin, some chewed fibers, some tanned leather, burlap, um, cobwebs, and bones. All of that is not that bad. Uh, it's not like super, super great, uh, especially since we have the Eucharist sapling already, right? But still, uh, that's that's decent. That's decent. Uh, it's a decent stuff, I guess. I'm running out of room. <laughs> like not not like completely out of room yet, but it's, we're getting there. Uh, let's see. What I hate that. <laughs> uh, I'll just put that stuff in here. It's not really treasure, and this is supposed to be the treasure chest, but you know, whatever. I'll take the bones too. Um, they're kind of good. You know, bone meal and stuff, so. Yeah, uh, there's also a temper here. I didn't miss that. <laughs> That's actually what I saw first before I saw the pillars. Um, so we'll check that out too. I don't think. Where did that sand. Where did we take that out? I don't know. Let's put it right here. I don't know. Don't really know if there's anything that we could get from a temper chest that would really be worth it. But we'll check out. We'll check it out anyway. I'm kind of um, surprised it didn't blow up. Like I spent way too long standing around. Uh, is there an easy way in? <laughs> there is. Maybe. Maybe there is. Oh, that's quicksand. No. Ah. Okay, yeah, we can get in from, from this side. And we'll just drop down, whatever. Wait, am I not? Oh, I thought I was in the corner, but I wasn't. I was off by a block. There we go. Uh, some gold. More gold and bones. Uh, sharpness 3, aqua affinity, fire protection 3, that's actually not bad. Saddle, we can always take... Ooh, 3 diamonds, that's not bad. I don't really need the rock of flesh, I don't know why I felt the need to grab it, <laughs> but I did. Uh, gold and bones, and gold, that should be everything, right? Yes, alright. Ah, uh, not bad, not bad. We'll put the pressure blade in there too, and actually the dark wood. And the quicksand. <laughs> and uh, I don't want the TNT, I don't think. Oh, I should actually leave the torch, but put it in the middle. Um, oh, okay, it's chiseled and then smooth. Let's see how, how this works. If I. Oh, it doesn't pop. That's interesting. So sandstone is different enough for it to not like to the auto refill, but wood isn't. That's strange. Perfect. Good as new. Well, other than the torch that we left. All right. So yeah, let's let's just keep going. Let's do what we always do. And uh, that's a village. <laughs> this is a crazy area. So much stuff right here. Let's see. Oh, it looks kind of big. Yeah, we'll swing by it. Whatever. This is the last episode. Well, it's not the last, last episode. But, yeah, you know. You know what I mean. Uh, I kind of want to do a little, like, recap sort of thing, too. You know, my thoughts on the experience overall and uh, on, you know, on the mod pack and everything related to that. But um, I'm, I, I think I'm saving that for later. Because I, I feel like if I'm really, like if I really do go over an hour here, um, 
I might I might actually <laughs> run out of things to talk about. Uh, and then it would be nice to have that sort of stuff to fall back to, because that's kind of easy to talk about. It's already like it already happened. It's all like <laughs> just telling you, <laughs> just recapping. It's always easy, I find. I'm not sure if they can they open the doors like that. Uh, oh, someone's dying. Where? I don't know where. That is a pretty messed up road design. That's better. Well, it's still, still not great, but it's better. These villages. They. Yeah. They generate so derpy. It's crazy. Okay, let's fix that up a little bit. Ah, uh, we don't. I don't need to check the the crops. There's nothing, nothing I need. And that front. That's not a very, very great road either. Oh man. Okay. What what is that actually? Cranberry seeds. So yeah, they they pop out. That's what they do. Lots of farms. You guys have lots of lot, lots and lots of farms. And then why are they all standing down there? What is down there in that corner? There's weird stuff going on in that village. <laughs> Actually, what kind of biome? Oh, it's a brushland. Yeah, I was just gonna say that's not a, that's not a plains. The grass isn't green enough for that to be a plains biome. I kind of like the green schist, cobblestone thing. It's a nice, it's a nice color <laughs> for for the village, I guess. Um, yeah, let's move on. I don't need to check the trades or anything. Um, and whoever was in trouble there taking damage, he stopped, so... And he didn't die and stop because of that, he just stopped taking damage, so I assume he's fine. Um, Brushland... Hmm... What do my exploring insti instincts tell me? Do I go north or do I go east? Hmm... I think I want to go east, actually. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but I do. I really do. Um, yeah, also for the future episodes, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about like compiling a list um, of the ruins. I'll have, there has to be a way to do that. Um, like, I'm not sure how the, how the mod pack... Like, I don't know how the ruins mod works. But since those ruins are like built for for this pack specifically, uh, there has to be a way. Like there has to be like a list or something. And I crashed. Wow, that hasn't that hasn't happened in a while. But I'll be right back. And here we are again. Ticking memory again. Ah, if only, if only. Modern Minecraft would run a bit better. Ah, that would be great. I, I yeah, I love everything about about playing this pack, other than the performance, which is not the pack's fault, obviously. But yeah, I also have no idea what I was just saying. I should have checked the video <laughs> before I, before I came back in. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I was talking about m trying to compile a list. Oh, um, like I don't have a good feeling for um, like how many how many different ruins there are. So I don't know if there like if it's even a feasible thing to try and you know find them all. I assume it's not going to be. Is that a different temper? Is it even a temper? <laughs> oh, there's a village too. Wait. So what is that? Is that a, this is a normal temper, right? That's a temper. Wow. I'd rather find ruins, though. <laughs> I don't really have a use for gold and stuff like that. And bones. And rotten flesh. I mean, I'll take them. <laughs> I guess. I'll take the diamonds, too. But other than that... 
another green schist um, village. And then more, I guess, shrubland. And I don't know what that is actually. Is it a bamboo stuff forest thing? I don't know what it's called. Is it bamboo forest? Might be. Very well, might be. Okay, let's get a torch here and we'll go down. And we have bones in the saddle, we have gold saddle, uh, not saddle, gold, uh, rotten flesh, bones, iron, uh, bones, iron, and emeralds. Emeralds are actually pretty good. I'll gladly take those. I uh, don't know where I picked that horse weed up, or that switch grass actually, it happens all the time, you just pick up some random grab crap. And I uh, don't really need it at all. Okay. Emeralds I do need. And I do want them. Okay. Oh yeah, the saddle needs to go in as well. And uh, let's put a chunk of wood in. Just to get another slot, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll leave. I don't care. <laughs> we'll leave the torch off center and we'll leave the, the trap intact. Don't think it will bother us at all, because we'll just leave this area behind anyway. And even if it does blow up, um, who cares really. <laughs> okay. And it's not gonna blow up anyway, because there's light down there now, so there's no chance, basically, for a mob to spawn and trigger the, the trap. That's not what I meant. Ah, crap, that's what I wanted. It's not night time yet, come on. I feel like this I feel like there should be more I feel like there are more big things to be found in deserts. So far we've only found like two very little structures. The like the one that we found like you know at the beginning of this episode and then the other one I don't even know when that was. <laughs> and one desert in the south before we turned up uh turned around. Go back up north. Uh, but that was, yeah, that was just a, a tiny well thing. So, so far, we haven't really seen anything. It definitely feels like they are. This guy's kind of crazy. It definitely feels like there would be, like, big things. Potentially. Oh, no, no, no. Ah. <laughs> I keep forgetting about the quicksand. Let me out, okay. These villages, yeah, probably gonna, yeah, yeah, they're definitely gonna, <laughs> gonna fall in here if, if they have a chance. That's what they do. They kind of like, <laughs> I don't know, suffocating, I guess. This guy is crazy. Did he like get stung by the cactus and now? Is he just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know what's up with him. Uh there's more quicksand. Why is there so much quicksand? I can't get rid of it all. I mean I can. I just don't want to commit to, to doing it, but I have to. Uh well I have not have to have to, but yeah. I mean we can't we can't just not help these guys and help all these other villagers. They're terrible villagers. So we'll help these guys too. Uh, da -da -da, need some sand again. It's not enough. Just a start. Ah, there goes my shower. Just hold on a second, guys. Uh, you can't get in there, no. I think it should be fine. <laughs> I say with basically no confidence at all, but it looks fine to me. Just don't don't go too far out, I guess. And you, you yeah, it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. They'll figure it out. We found what two with just two desert tempers and that little 
sandstone pillar thing of the ukulele sapling. So, pretty eventful episodes, but I'm still not. Ah. <laughs> I'm still not happy. We want, or I want more from this episode. Is there more quicksand underneath this one? Yes, of course there is. Like it's, I don't know. I, I'm, I guess it's just me not paying attention. But right there, like it, I didn't, I didn't have the normal sand as a comparison, and it's very bright. The sun, so it just looked like normal sand to me. And I was just wondering if, what did I see? Oh, I don't know what I saw. Oh yeah, this tree. That's a, that's a different tree. We'll have to check it out. This is not a normal, whatever biome this is tree. Is it a... Oh, this is still a brush land, but once we get down here, it is... Eucalyptus forest. Alright. Interesting. So what, what... Ooh, that is definitely something. It's something with a zombie. <laughs> There's a swing. And some giant hay bales. <laughs> And some holes in the ground. Bundle chute. Wow. <laughs> Rather chute. We could make some burlap right here. Uh, hay bales. Actually, kind of nice too. It's a lot of wheat. Like it's nine per. That's thirty-six per like chunk here. That's a lot of wheat, a lot of bread potentially. Hmm, I wonder why this is like broken off. Scaly tree fern. Okay, and this is a uh, cypress. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. This is really nice. This is a really nice looking tree. That's a very pretty tree. Uh, I need to go up a bit. Oh no, I don't want to stack with quicksand. <laughs> oh, we'll do gravel, I guess. Uh, this might be the best thing we find, so we better take advantage of it for a screenshot here. I kind of dislike the, the tuft being like dropped right there. <laughs> But oh well, <laughs> this is what it is. Uh, actually, I do have some iron somewhere, I'm very, very certain. But I don't know where. Well, there's that, but didn't I bring iron? I thought I did. Oh yes, I did. But I did bring refined iron to make tools and stuff on the way. So we should be fine here. Perfect. Yeah, we need a new shovel anyway. Even just to get out of quicksand quicker. <laughs> Alright, so is there any loot here? What what what's the hmm? I kinda of wanna I wanna I wanna swing. <laughs> I wish I could sit down. That's a pretty good screenshot too. <laughs> Ah, okay. Why is the light so weird down here? It looks really foggy, and then it gets normal again. But it looks like really like... Yeah, it's like really like... I don't know. <laughs> it's very soft and very like... I don't know. Strange. Strange. So if I were... If I were... A hit chest. Would I be under the tree? <laughs> no, I wouldn't be under the tree apparently. Where would I be? Wait. Okay, so it's just shade light, I guess. No, don't. What are you doing, sheep? Why? Why did you come down here? Come on. 
Can you come out of here? Sheep. Please, sheep. Oh. <laughs> Do I have leads? Doesn't look like I do. No. Do I have wheat? I don't have wheat either. Uh, can we, if I break this, I can uncraft it, right? And then recraft it again. Come on, sheep. Can you not get out of there? Oh, no, you can't, right? But you can't get out now. Oh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, sheep. I would I would give you some wheat just as a reward, but I I don't want to destroy the hay bale, <laughs> so I'll put it back. Uh, which way was it facing this? Yeah. All right. Uh, so hard to tell if it would be worth it to go like up the tree or something. <laughs> I mean, there could be something up there. Who knows? I'm also kind of confused by the weird, like, by the weird horse, the gaps in the ground. It's it's a strange decision to build build it like that. I think, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe that's just me. That sheep, very interested. Um, we'll go up. I don't want to miss anything. And I might not be missing anything. Oh no, there, I did. Uh, I would have missed something. Ooh, some very nice stuff. Yes, a sap cypress sapling. What? Only. Wait, wait. So I have to plant it in a 2 by 2 You only give me one sapling? <laughs> maybe there are more. Maybe there are more chests. I would hope so. Shiny key. Locks and unlocks drawers. Oh, that's nice. I wanted to make one of those anyway. PB and J. Uh, we can definitely take that. Cool glasses. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. That is that is beyond cool if you ask me. <laughs> very, very nice. Uh, I think we'll wear those for a little while. Oh they actually have armor value. Yeah, they go <laughs> they give me the that half uh shirt that the flower band doesn't give me. Uh, the question is, do they have durability? I hope they don't. I don't want to break gum boots. Okay. A shell fossil. Uh, I will take it. Larry and Grubby. Uh, <laughs> Excalibur. A knockback stick. A pine cone. A bird's egg. Ooh, that's pretty nice. That is a really cool selection of stuff. See, that's 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 what I want to find. <laughs> It's just, yeah, I keep that stuff together so that I can remember where it, where it came from. It's getting dark now. I'll take it all. Uh, um, well, I mean, those guys are food, but we won't eat them. I just, this guy isn't food. This is a bee thing. Like a... Oh, they caught grubs? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know now. The bird's egg is kind of cool. We can have a bad bird uh, with that, I assume. So that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, I need to sleep. Can I sleep up here? Sure, why not? Just do it like this and this. And I hope I won't fall off the tree, but it should put me like on a block somewhere close by. Yes, it does. Okay. So we have one chest right here, but we only have one sapling yet. Uh, so I. I want to find more chests in this tree, just so that we can get enough saplings. Cause it, like it, I don't know that it that is actually true, but it's it feels like it is. Cause there's two by two in the planting guide there. So we'll need four at least to be able to grow one cypress tree. And I I wanted one of those. Or the ability to, to grow those for a little while now. Uh, so I'm happy about finding that. Uh, there's actually kind of a way to go around this tree. Okay. 
chest was kind of hidden too, so now I need to really pay attention to make sure that there aren't any more tree, uh, chests in this tree. Not trees, in this chest. Come on. Let's see. Go up. Up, 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 up. Ah, it doesn't look promising at the moment. And I'm still not sure if that sapling that we got at that weird the weird tree <laughs> um, with the shears, like I broke the leaf block with the shears and we got a sapling and the leaf block. Uh, I'm not sure if that's like a if that works on, on e in every kind of leaf or just the ancient tree leaves or I don't know what happened there basically is what I'm saying. So I don't know if I can get a leaf uh, sapling from the leaves without breaking the leaves here and I kind of don't want to break the leaves. <laughs> Because this is a really cool tree. With a swing and stuff. Let's eat something. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like there's another chest in this tree. I mean, there could be, obviously. I haven't looked at every possible angle yet, but it doesn't feel like there is another chest anywhere. Hmm. <laughs> I hate I hate missing stuff. <laughs> Chests or other stuff. Whatever. Uh details in builds like this, but at the same time I don't want to spend forever and then just come to the conclusion that there wasn't anything to be found. And I mean, the first chest was hidden, but not like, like, crazy hidden, just kind of hidden, so. Maybe that was it. I'll just take a look. Over here. No, it doesn't look like there's another chest. Ah, um, let's just decide that there isn't and move on. Kind of sad about the fact that I only got one sapling though. Uh, let's just try this, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the chances are even if that is a thing. That's wrong. <laughs> Definitely need to redo that. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not worth it. Okay, um, we'll move on, we'll move on. Okay, so we found another another cool thing, another cool tree in this eucalyptus forest. Oh, we need to mark it. I didn't mark anything yet. <laughs> I didn't even mark the, the desert thing, I just realized. I will have to approximate it. Uh, I should be able to do that. So we'll add a marker right here, and this is a uh, tree swing. And we'll add a marker somewhere. Where was that in relation to everything? Somewhere here, I have no idea. Um, but if I'm in the area, I'll be able to find it. And it's not that great of a thing anyway. Sand, sandstone. Pillows. Like it's just a little a little thing. It's not that important that, that I have the exact spot. I'll be able to find it. Because <clears throat> I know it's like right next to the temper and the temper should be easy enough to find if I'm in the right area. And that marker is definitely in the right area. Uh looks like a uh, plains or something. Plain Z over there. I can't really tell uh, the shade of the green. So it could be like a could actually be a grassland. Oh no, there's some trees. Maybe it's a... Uh, I don't know. I never know. I can't tell. I still don't know the biomes. Ah. What I would like to find uh, some of the more exotic biomes again, like the... What was it called? The, the ominous woods. Uh, the... The other one, the one of the, the spider... The cobwebs. Silk. Silk. 
clades, so clades, I think. Um, both of those we've only seen once. Why is there so much bamboo here? There's still the eucalyptus forest. There's lots of mozo bamboo. Then there's the golden bamboo. There is the blue, tropical blue bamboo. <laughs> uh, more mozo, more golden, more mozo. So much bamboo. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know which one that is. Uh, Gordon, Moso. Uh, is it the same as this one? I can't tell. It is Aspa. Okay. I haven't seen that in a while, actually. Well, it's not. I mean, we've seen it before plenty of times, but not, not recently, I think. At least I can't remember seeing it recently. Lots of bamboo here, but it doesn't look like there's the like it has it doesn't have the one bamboo that we're missing still. Which is okay. I mean I, w I want to have it still but <laughs> you know it's fine. Okay, so what is this? What is this? What am I looking at here? I don't know. And is it just more eucalyptus? No. I don't know, it looks different. Maybe there's a variation? I don't know. Guess we'll find out soon enough. So we're heading over there, of course. Going north now, right? Yes, still going north. Can it go through? <laughs> can't go through there. <laughs> Feels like I would, you know, fit through if I really wanted to. It's, what is... Uh, no, uh, that's the bamboo bamboo, right? Yeah. So this is the bamboo forest, yeah. We've seen that too. I think twice, maybe. Maybe twice. Definitely once. I remember seeing it. But that was off camera actually. And I can't really remember where I would have seen it again after that. So maybe maybe I haven't seen that on camera yet. Uh that was just, just a short trip back from all the way up north. That's the which one is that again? The yeah, giant timber. All kinds of bamboo, but not the one that I want. <laughs> Maybe that doesn't spawn in normal biomes. Uh, what's that through there? Is it sand? I look, what does what what kind of biome is that? Is it just a desert? Could just be the edge of a desert on the map, but it looks kind of weird. Yeah, it's desert. Um do I want to check it out? <laughs> I don't know. It's just tough to make these decisions because there are there's no like there's no basis to make decisions on. It's just whatever I feel like doing, where I feel like going. You know, there's no unless I really do like compile a list of things I need to see still and where they can be found. But I'm not sure if that's actually a good idea because it will take away a little bit from the exploring because I would just skip some biomes that I know I don't need anymore. Hmm. But then again, I can't really skip biomes anyway because I have to like I have to walk, <laughs> you know, through biomes to get to to other biomes. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I really don't know. And it's not really like about seeing them all. That would probably be easier ways to do that um, than to explore. But it would, like, it's about finding them all. That's what I want to do. Like that's that's my motivation here, not just. Come on, it is night time. <sighs> My timing has been so great for a few episodes, and now it's not. There we go. <sighs> Alright. <clears throat> what do we see? It looks like a plane. Uh, maybe it's not. It doesn't have... No, it does have trees, but not a lot. I lean towards uh, this being... What was that? Kangaroo paw. I don't remember seeing that. 
I feel like I would remember the name, but maybe... Uh, yes, it's just Nova Plains. Which is not necessarily bad, because I don't know if there are any structures that I haven't seen yet that spawn in Plains biomes. We'll just quickly run through this. I shouldn't sprint, because I don't have that much food <laughs> left. And I really don't want to have to like start farming and cooking up stuff. I haven't actually seen any berries or anything in a while, so I don't have that much stuff, uh, you know, gathered in addition to my spaghettis. Um, hmm. Forest? Forest hills, okay. Uh, just plains? Is that still plains? Yeah, it is, right? It just looked a little bit different from over here, but I think it's the same same shade of green. And then we have some savanna. Yeah, savanna over there. Oh, that's actually a sunflower plains. A few sunflowers. That's nice. I haven't seen a lot of sunflower plains yet, and it's again a kind of a small biome, so not a lot of space for, for a ruin to spawn, if there is one that can spawn here. I mean, there are, yeah, there, there's definitely stuff that can, um, if there's a specific one, I mean. Hmm. This doesn't look that great. I'm still not sure if I should cut and try to find new interesting stuff. I don't have time, kind of. I don't know. I'm running out of food. I didn't anticipate this to be this long of a trip. I'm not sure what I was actually anticipating, though. <laughs> but it wasn't it wasn't like uh, how far out are we now? Almost fourteen thousand <laughs> blocks. So yeah, that's pretty far. That's pretty far out. Let's see if we see anything interesting. Oh, what is this actually? Scrubland. Have I seen that? I've seen shrubland, but this is a scrubland. Looks kind of the same though. Like, not exactly the same, but in the same vein, I guess. Just a very, like, not a lot of trees, not very, not very green. But still, oh, yes, that's something. Uh, we are still in the scrubland, so let's see. It looks like I can't. I don't know. I don't have an association yet. Like it looks like a like a round, roundish house of sorts. Um, I like the blocks. I like the bamboo leaves. They're a nice touch. Bass blocks again. Mangrove wood. Very very nice. Nice shade. Uh, blue windows. Light blue, actually. Uh, cave right next to the door. Uh, bar cypress door. Oh, and a mouse. Or is it? Yeah, it's a mouse. <laughs> oh, it's like a it's like a windmill or like a yeah. Uh, it's not a windmill though. Um, just a just a mill or like a oh what's the card uh, a granary I think yeah is that the right word I think it is uh, seven pressure blades oh, okay that's not a very <laughs> that ladder is not very <laughs> well placed uh, refined golden hoe oh I didn't know you could refine gold as well I guess I mean why would you why would you do that though. <laughs> Uh, some fertilizers, some sunflower seeds. I don't have any sunflower seeds yet, so I guess I'll take those. And I don't have any fertilizer either, so I'll take them as well. I don't need the seeds or the golden hoes. So I'll leave them behind, I think. What's with the mice? Are they after me? <laughs> Looks like they want to come up here. Um, I want to go upstairs. I'm gonna kill them. Oh, that's like a whole family. 
<laughs> they eat the the wheat, the flour, whatever. I don't know how the current works. Does it need the pressure plates? No, right, that would, that would be weird. I wonder if that... If that ladder is placed right or not. Can you actually place them against the wall and still climb up like normal ladders? Did it just not do that for some reason or... Yeah, okay, I think they were supposed to be like that then. Uh, a cracked pipe flute, okay. Uh, some burlap. A scarecrow. <laughs> Gives you garden, f garden free of most creatures. So yeah, it probably scares away the animals too. And a, and a scythe, okay, it's not bad. Do I want to go on the roof? What can I do with, the, with this? Nothing. Oh, it's probably not really a pipe flute, isn't that? Oh yeah, it's probably one of the... I don't remember. Uh, is it a dart gun? Dart blower, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> we don't have any darts to use it with. Pipe flute, is that a reference? Um, I'm not sure if it is. It might be like a Zelda thing. I've never played Zelda games, but I've played a Minecraft map based on the Zelda games. And I think there was like a like a windmill type thing in some village and the guy had a broken pipe or repaired a pipe or something. Something something along those lines. So yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Uh, I'll take a screenshot of this too. Because it's definitely a nice build. Um, like it's very it's, it's very I don't know how to express my <laughs> It's like it's small, but it's very like it's it's space efficient, I guess. Like there's a lot of stuff packed packed in there, uh, even though it's a really tiny building. And it looks really neat too. Like it's not it's not not like a big like show off build. <laughs> it's like a very how did the mouse get out? I didn't even know there were mice. I haven't seen any before this. Door is actually nice too. All right. Um, I have no idea how long I've been recording total. I think it's like f fifty minutes. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, so I don't know how much longer I, I will make this episode. The thing is, like I'm like right now, it's like it's past midnight <laughs> on Monday. So. Um, it's actually, yeah, you can see the time right there. It's not past midnight. <laughs> it's almost it's almost 2 a.m. Um, the thing is, I couldn't. I, I could record like tomorrow in the afternoon or early evening, but then I won't be able to upload it in time. The entire thing, because it's going to be a pretty big episode, uh, like big file. So maybe I should just f come to a conclusion today well it's already tomorrow anyway but like before I <laughs> before I go to bed basically um, I feel like we found some good stuff already so that's nice uh, it's not a like a terrible episode in in terms of our exploration luck so that's always good and uh, is that an outback? I think it is. I didn't. I didn't mark the granary. Ah, ah. At least I think it's a granary. It's not. A, it's not like a mill because it doesn't have like it has no wheel. Or is it wheel? The 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 spinning thing. Like there's no no water running it. And no. I don't know if that's the difference actually. I don't know. Like if it had like the the wind wing thing, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I don't know how do we spell that. That like that, granary. Granary. I don't know. That's how I spell it right here. And I'll. Yeah, I should. I should really. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I should figure out what I want to do with this episode now. I should start 
maybe concluding things. Um, and it's weird, I guess, it's maybe it's weird to con make a conclusion, like or make a conclusive statement about the series, since it's not really over. Because I don't have anything to replace it with, and 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 I'm still like I'm still enjoying the experience. So it's not just that I'm out of options. <laughs> it's still fun to run around here. But still, yeah, I wanted to like do a little recap sort of thing. So overall, I overall really really enjoyed this experience. It's a really really neat pack. Uh, there's so many options you can do. So many different things. Um, it's not if you're like into the heavy technical stuff, then that pack is probably not for you. Even though there is some stuff I haven't really touched on it at all. Like there are some item duck type things and like uh, the redstone stuff, the sticky redstone that you can put on walls and maybe ceilings. Probably just walls. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I haven't looked into that at all. Um, but yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff, then that pack, this pack is probably not the right one for you. But if you are into like building, there's so many, like there are lots and lots of options for for building stuff. Um, just looking at the different ruins, so many, so many cool things you can do with the chisel stuff and all the different wood types and the stone types. There's just lots and lots of stuff for building. Um, it's also really, really great for exploration, though. I think that's the main thing, really. That has drawn me to it at first and then that has kept me interested even though I did a bit of building as well I'm not entirely happy with, <laughs> with my like performance I guess in that regard but still uh, I had fun and I don't hate my house it's a solid house it's just a bit boring it's just yeah I'm not yeah I'm not good with coming up like like crazy new looks or anything like that so that's a weird lava pool. Hardened sand. So this is an um, outback. Yes. Oh wow, that's a that's a weird looking cave. Or I'm not really sure. <laughs> What's it called? It's not a ravine. It's just like a it's a hole in the ground. Really, that's what it is. That's crazy. I don't think I've seen that before. Like that. Just like completely close closed off hole in the ground. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the exploration uh, is, is really what, what still fascinates me. Um, and I, I had some more ideas, like I wanted to build a staver, and I might still do that. I probably will, actually, uh, for Barandia. I'm also, I, I also still want to get the other horse um, back to the house, but... Where did you come from, guy? Is there a cave? came from back here. There's no cave. How did he spawn? Maybe the shadows? No, there's not enough shadow. I don't know. Maybe he spawned just before I went to bed and then was under a sh tree so it didn't burn up and then... I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Um, oh, there's... There's definitely... Yeah, there's definitely something up there. <laughs> So we'll have to climb this mountain. <laughs> well, it's not really. It's a what's it? What's it? Uh, it's a a canyon thing again, right? I think that's for the biomes card, anyway. So yeah, um, yeah, the horse. I want to get the other horse back, but I'm kind of scared, especially since the dog died, like right away, instantly. I lost it. Um, I, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid of moving animals, I guess. <laughs> uh, like it's not that bad. It's not like I'm, I'm, you know, traumatized or anything. But yeah, um, still, uh, <laughs> I don't want to lose that horse uh, going across the water. And I'm not sure what the best way to actually do it is yet. I mean, the best best way is either going through the Nether probably or building a bridge. But both of those don't sound all that great to me different reasons. Another because it's kind of scary. <laughs> um, it's actually holding up pretty nicely, the chest plate. I was gonna try to parkour my way up here, but that's just not gonna happen. Uh, do I risk this jump? Sure. Well, I missed it. 
That sucks. Okay. Like, it's just, I feel like, uh, I actually feel like, well, I'm not great at parkour in general. That's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to claim that, but I feel like with the, like the, the slightly choppy performance, it's even harder to make these jumps, like the corner jump type things. This one is okay, because it's only one block, but everything that's more than that is kind of, kind of hard. Um. I'm out of blocks. Wait, did I? No, it's a leaf. I uh, am yeah. okay. Whatever. I don't like doing this because it like I like to preserve <laughs> nature or whatever. But this is there's no good way up. No natural natural staircase or anything. For me to like jump up, and I really want to see whatever that was. It looked like a tower. I'll check it out. Um, I completely lost my train of thought again, though. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I stopped talking. <laughs> it's a problem now. Yeah, the horse. Yeah, the horse across the border. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I still kind of want to, and if. I think I will build the the horse stable, and I think it's going to be it for the building. Though I'm not, I'm not a great builder, and I do enjoy it, but I don't know. <laughs> I would have to have an idea, I guess. Um, I guess we'll see if if I if I have one. Right, uh, let's mark it right away. So I don't forget. tower and so yeah I guess that's sort of the plan I want to keep exploring and I want to build the horse stable and like finish up some stuff around the house uh, finish my tree sapling or like my, my tree collection I guess for the orchard and maybe uh, finish the path <laughs> and stuff like that and uh, yeah oh, those look really cool uh, chisel chiseled bookshelves the different like of the scar and uh, different like tomes and I don't know what that is. Looks like a scroll maybe. Then the, the cobwebs and like a little uh, it looks like a little pouch or something. Very nice. I guess we never really yeah and we never did that because I used the uh, I used the. Uh, Bibliocraft uh, bookshelves instead. Is that an empty book? Can I like? Can I take this book? Book and quill. Okay, but it's empty. Okay. And the bookcase behind it. We could write a book here, but I don't know what we would write about. Looting three. That's pretty good. And a pearl of pearl of tunic. But I think that's just. Like yeah, it's just exactly like leather. So it's not. <laughs> if it would look different, I might like to wear it. Ah, uh, it's not the right thing. Let's put it in the other one. Uh, da -da -da. There we go. Perfect. Uh, there wasn't anything else, right? Uh, what's our there might be something on the roof. I'm so out of blocks. Um, <laughs> nothing in the furnace. Uh, and if there's nothing up here, there's at least a good view over the canyon and the biomes around it. Wow, that's pretty cool. It's so high up. How high up are we here? 166, that's really high up. <laughs> Don't want to far. I mean, faring down here would not be deadly, so I guess it would be fine, but still. Is that it? Is there more to this, this tower? Any lore or anything? <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything else. Or maybe downstairs. Uh, mm, I don't know. There's a spot where could, there could be something hidden. 
I wonder who lives here. Who lives here? It, I don't know. It kind of looks like a wizard type tower, but then again, it lacks some. Like I don't know. There's no potion stuff or anything like that. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any. Is there a spot where there could be hidden stuff? No, because there's nothing at the war. It's not. It's no extra block. Is there like an underground? Maybe. Maybe there is. No, it's hard and dirt right away. Uh, is there anything on top of the bookshelves? No. I guess I would have seen that. <laughs> uh. Yeah, and there's no way to hide anything here, I think, because these are like right outside. Uh, so yeah, no, I don't think I don't think there's a way that there could be anything hidden here. It's very it's very open, but there's not a lot of. There aren't a lot of spaces where there could be hidden stuff, I guess. Let's have a spawn here, why not? Um, it's kind of weird that there's no way up to the top though, right? Like if you have the, the battlements up top, why is there no... Why doesn't the ladder go all the way up? It's kind of strange. Oh yeah, it kind of says what it is. Best pas pastel books, historians, bookshelf, hoarder, a band, red tomes. Yeah, very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so yeah, let's, I guess let's. <laughs> I should finish concluding. So yeah, exploration was a lot of fun and is still a lot of fun. I, sh I really like finding the ruins. It's just, it's not about just seeing them, even though that's cool too, because they are really nice builds. It's also about finding them. I like finding things. I don't know, it just. It feels very rewarding to me to go out and find things. Uh, no, that's just mushrooms on a on a tree stump right there. Look like cobwebs or something, but it's just the white mushrooms. And um, so I really is that a jungle? Oh, I don't think I've seen a jungle yet. <laughs> that's cool too. Um, but yeah, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank Fedrin first and foremost for putting all of this together. I know she had help. I should have looked up the names actually, but I, I didn't. So, yeah, thank you everyone who helped in any way or, or yeah, in any capacity. You know, builders for the for the ruins. Um, you know, support people, uh, the technical people, uh, whoever you know uh, is doing the, the I don't know the server stuff, server files. I'm sure, there's some people working on that still. Uh, yeah, really, really good job, everyone. Give yourselves a, a pat on the back. You did a great job. <laughs> uh, I, also, I also want to thank everyone f for watching. Uh, I know it's like a series had had <laughs> definitely had its up its ups and downs, and I appreciate that you guys stuck around. If you did, and if, even if you didn't, if you just sporadically tuned in, that's fine too. Um, I'm, I'm just you know, I'm happy. It's 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 been a good experience overall. Uh, some really nice commenters, um, some nice, some new faces, some new people. Um, I don't want to forget anyone, but I do want to kind of say your names. <laughs> so I'll have to look them up. Uh, I remember some of your names. Actually, I probably remember most of the names of the people who've been like frequent commenters on this series, but I don't want to leave anyone out. Um, Kenneth Chan. I yeah, she's been around for like over a year now. She she subscribed back when I did uh, planetary confinement, and she's been very uh, active in the comments for this series as well. And she's also tried out the pack. I think she mentioned him in the comments. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Andrew. He's been around for a little while too, and he's been commenting. And he's definitely been playing as well. He's been tweeting me some screenshots from you know his experience with the pack, so if you check out my my timeline on Twitter, I retweeted some and I liked some others, so if you check out my likes, there, uh, you should be able to find Andrew there and see his screenshots if you're, if you're interested. Uh, Jenny, Jenny Brutless, uh, who I think has been a builder for this, 
yeah, she's been a builder, I know. <laughs> I don't think, I know she's been... I don't know what she built, though. I think she built the Mushroom Tower. Uh, like, do you know the Mushroom Man? The one where I had to break into the bedrock to make the guy spawn? I think she built that, but she probably built more. I don't know what else she built, though. Maybe we found something else she built. Uh, she hasn't been watching <laughs> the last few episodes, so she hasn't been commenting either, so I don't know. Um, which is, yeah, I'm not calling you out. <laughs> don't, don't, yeah. Don't worry. It's fine. Um, who else? Um, well, very recently, Jennifer has been... I think it's Jennifer. <laughs> it starts with a ch for J. That's, that, that I know for sure. Uh, she's been leaving comments on the past few episodes, and I think she's watched a lot of them, if not all of them, so yeah. Uh, who else? <laughs> I'm forgetting. Well, well, Life of Chrome, he hasn't been watching and commenting recently, or maybe he's been just skipping through, um, but early on he's, he's left some, you know, some good feedback as well. Um, who else? Uh, I guess Kisariani Love, even though she only commented on one episode. Uh, Rayquest. I'm just scrolling through here. Uh, I don't know who else really commented on this series. I think Jason at least watched, <laughs> commented on one. Uh, so thanks, Jason. And. I think that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sure there's been some, like, I'm sure I'm missing some people. Like, uh, there's been 60 episodes. I can't go through them all. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for the comments and the likes and everything. It's, you know, it's really encouraging to get that stuff. Uh, it's just nice <laughs> to get some, you know, some feedback and uh, to hear from people who watch and enjoy, hopefully. I know I'm kind of like a niche kind of guy, I think. Like, I'm not very... I'm not... I, I don't know. I'm not really a funny guy. I'm not really a redstone guy. I don't do command block creations. And that seems to be like the three major categories of like big YouTubers. And I don't really fit in any of these categories. And I'm aware of that. And it's fine. Don't don't worry. You don't need like I'm not. Like, this is not me begging for compliments either. It's just a realistic um, view of you know who I am in this scenario in this like YouTube world, and that's that's fine. That's just what it is. Uh, so yeah, I I yeah. Thanks again, Fedran. Thanks again, everyone who made this. It's really really nice. It works pretty well. Um, I'm, I've been complaining a bit about the crashes. Sure, those are annoying, but. Yeah, that's just that's just the modded world, I guess. Yeah, you have to you have to be okay with that if you want to play modded, and I do want to play modded because it's fun. Um, so yeah, I think this is this is it. It's not goodbye though. It still feels kind of <laughs> like it though. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we won't we won't there won't be an episode tomorrow <laughs> at the same time. Even though some of the episodes have been late anyway, so it's not like. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, 64 episodes, or almost in a row, I skipped one day in that whole mess, I think. Um, and now it's time to slow down. I hope I hope you understand. Um, I hope you give my other stuff a chance, maybe. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Like, you don't, I, I, I'm, you know, that's fine. You don't have to like everything I do. And if you're just here for this series and the other stuff just doesn't do it for you, then that's fine. Um, you know, no hard feelings. And... Uh, yeah, this is it for the daily streak. It's over. I'm kind of glad it's over, but at the same time, I would like it to keep going because it's kind of still. I'm still not sure what's going to be at this time slot tomorrow, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. I hope you guys enjoyed this extra long episode. We found some really cool stuff: a tower and a granary and. What else did we find? Uh, out of the tree with the swing, and we found the sandstone pillar thing with the eucalyptus sapling, and we found two villages and two desert tempers. So, a very, very action packed episode. Uh, I found these really nice shades. I think they really look really, really cool. I wish I could wear both the flower band and the shades, because, you know, you can wear grass and a hat in real life, but not in Minecraft, I guess. So, yeah, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys stay. 
tuned for more there will be more life in the woods as i said already I'm just i just i don't know i feel like i feel the need to repeat it just to make sure everyone understands what's the situation and uh yeah i don't know when i'll see you but it'll be soon and uh this is it i hope you guys enjoyed thanks again bye bye